Today we look at how to share your DaVinci Resolve projects with the media included. This means you can just send your project files to someone, they can import it into DaVinci Resolve, and the included video and audio files will be there. Now first, a disclaimer. If you find yourself doing this regularly, probably you should look into a different workflow. Copying entire project files back and forth isn't really the best way to collaborate with others, but sometimes it's a thing you just need to do, so let's check it out. First, I'll assume you created your project already. I'm here in the project manager for DaVinci Resolve, and I have this project here that I want to export. So all I have to do is right click on this and say export project archive. So I'll select this. I'll choose a folder on my computer and then I'll click save. Now it's going to ask me what I want to export with it. Now typically I just do media files, so I'll uncheck render cache and media files will include all the video, audio and images in my project. So I'll click OK. Now I've opened that export here on my computer. And you can see it's called myproject.dra. That's DaVinci Resolve Archive. Now this is actually a folder, not a file. So if I click into it, you'll see it includes the DaVinci Resolve project and the media files. So let's open the media files. And this video just had one video. Now usually it's difficult to just transfer folders around. So I'm gonna add it to a zip archive. I'll right click on it. I'll say compress to, and I'll say zip file. And now what I can do is send this to someone else to use. Now let's pretend I'm on someone else's computer and they want to use this zip file I just sent them. So I'll select it, I'll right click, and I'll say extract all. I'll say extract. And now we have our folder back out. But there's one key thing you need to know about this. On Windows, if you open this folder, you'll see our folder is nested again inside of it. We're in the mycoolproject.dra folder, and there's another one in there. So if I open this one internally, that's where my project is. So if you try to import this top level folder, you'll get an error. What I usually do is just cut the internal folder. So I'll say cut. I'll go back up top here. I'll paste it. And what it did is it just overwrote this other one. So if I go in here now, you can see the files are there. Now let's bring it back into DaVinci Resolve. So I'm back on the DaVinci Resolve project manager and you can import the project in any folder you want. I'll just do it at this top level here. I'll right click and I'll say restore project archive. So I'll select this and I'll select the folder I just extracted. I'll click open and now my project is there. And when I go in, I can see that the file is included. If you get an error message when you import, make sure you double check that you're importing the right folder and not the double nested folder that we saw before. I have a whole playlist on my channel with DaVinci Resolve tips, so be sure to check out that if you wanna learn more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.